The Little Dancing Bear Written by Peter Worthington Illustrated by Samantha Robinson And narrated by Chako Varakev The Little Dancing Bear loved to dance for people all around. In return, people came from far and wide to watch him perform. When his act was over, people threw money onto the sheet that lay on the floor in front of him. After a short rest, he would begin again. He seemed such a happy bear. He didn't go to school like other little bears. He just danced and played his bells all day. But the people in the crowd did not know the truth. When his day was over, the little bear went back to the lair where he lived with other bears, under the watchful eye of the bear master, and handed over all his earnings. When the weather was bad, people would not stop to watch. On those days, he would not earn very much. The bear master would fly into such a rage, he would send him to bed with very little food. One day, after a big storm, the little dancing bear went to his usual spot and began to dance and play his bells. People gathered, but there was something wrong. The little dancing bear was hungry. He shivered from the chill he had caught the day before while dancing in the rain. A fever set in and he could not perform. The little dancing bear tried to dance, but as the day wore on he became so weak he could hardly move. The little dancing bear is not very good today, said someone from the crowd. Others agreed and people drifted away, leaving the sheet empty. When he returned to the lair, the bear master was so angry he yelled at him. The sun has been shining all day. You have no excuse. Do you think you can stay here without earning your keep? Go to your bed without any supper. The little bear was so upset, he wanted to run away. But he had nowhere else to go. I must work harder and earn some money for the bear master tomorrow. Next day was worse still. The little dancing bear was so weak and hungry, no one stopped to watch him. Someone in the crowd yelled, You're a fraud! Get out of here! You're not the little dancing bear! The poor little dancing bear sat down on the ground. He could no longer dance. If only I had some food, he whispered. I would be able to dance and earn some money so that the bear master would be proud and happy again. That night, the little bear did not go to the lair. He was so afraid that the bear master would beat him in anger as he'd earned no money that day. He crept around the city, scavenging from the garbage bins outside restaurants. Angry dogs chased him away from the bins they did not like bears stealing from their patch. Once away from the dogs, he found a spot under a bridge and lay down to sleep. The rotten food he had eaten made him sick, and the next day he could not get up. Two workmen found him lying under the bridge. What are you doing here? My tummy hurts. Please. Let me rest for a while. He lay under the bridge, feeling ill and very ashamed. He could not earn money for the bear master. Who would want to watch a thin and filthy bear that could not dance? As the days wore on, the little dancing bear earned just enough to buy food every other day. He dare not scavenge from the bins after he had been so sick. He became weaker, thinner, and so very dirty. His coat was matted, and he smelt of the dirt he'd slept in. No one gave him money, 
and when he tried to steal some food from a cafe, he was chased away. That night, as the little dancing bear lay under the bridge, he cried himself to sleep. As his whimpers ceased, so did his heart, letting his spirit fly to the place where bears go. He awakes. He finds himself in a lush green forest with other young bears. There is no bear master here. He is happy and he is free.